friends, enemies, and those of you who have yet to decide which one you are, I greet you. Hello. The sun has gone down in my studio apartment in Japan, and it is time on this Halloween day for me to have a epilogue of my month-long story concerning the scarab, the bat, the conflict, and me. Now, just to recap, just a little bit, primarily my story involves Tokyo, about 10 or so years ago, and 24-hour restaurants, and odd people who I visited there at these restaurants, odd things that I saw at such a restaurant as well. Now with that recap concluded, let's continue with my conclusion. Now with my trip concluded, I returned to the city I was living in at that time. I don't remember if I used a Shinkansen, better known as the bullet train, or an airplane, but I do recall it being night when I returned, and I was hungry. So, I went to the nearest 24-hour restaurant that was in my area. Now, something I don't see these days, a lot of restaurants at that time were experimenting with having tablets connected to the table, not for ordering purposes, but for entertainment purposes. Most of the tablets would have a few touch panel games for the children to play, or a few news sites for the adult to look through. As I was waiting for my order to come up, I decided to see what news I had missed while I was visiting Tokyo. Oddly enough, Tokyo was part of the news cycle. It's odd, you may become the tourist in a place, but you might not see the news that they are talking about because you're so busy playing the part of a tourist and good shopper. Among the typical political news or the sports news was two pieces of news of interest. One had to deal with a Halloween-ish exhibit of, believe it or not, a vampire coffin. Now, was it a real coffin? Mm, possibly not. But it was designed to make people think about vampires. And there was a write-up of where the coffin was made and how it was made and who might have lived in that coffin. But it was all for show, apparently. The other piece of news was about an Egyptian exhibit and the fair that is usually connected to Egyptian exhibits, mummies, sarcophaguses, and other such things. Now, I'm not exactly saying that the mummy and the vampire were the same people who I met my first night in Tokyo, and I'm not exactly saying that the ruby I saw was something that could end both of their cursed existences, and due to hubris, they refused to let the other have it for whatever reason. I'm not saying that I am pondering it as much as you are, I hope. Now, with my story finally completed, I thank you, and I wish that you have a fantastic Halloween night. And remember, in the dead of night, forces beyond our understanding might meet in the most common places to discuss our fates. Now, let's move on to a little house cleaning. As you know, or may have guessed, I do have a Patreon account, and if you do feel like sending a little money my way, I do welcome it. Although, unfortunately, due to my scheduling this year, I really haven't been able to add too much art. But, if you do partake in part Patreon, you could tell me what you'd like to do for the next story. Until 
we talk again. I want to say good night, sweet dreams. <laughs>